and welcome back to the happy heart I'm so glad you guys came over today um, to see my grocery haul it is January 5th um, 2018 can you believe that and this is my first grocery haul of the new year I was out of a ton more than I thought I was and my grocery haul ended up being about $350 I'm hoping that this is gonna last um, at least two weeks if not more towards like a month I think that we're gonna have to just do kind of a filler haul the last two weeks of the month but I think I have enough meat to get us through so we'll cross our fingers and see what happens so I'll show you guys what I got here's the overview of my table so it is very packed right now got some things over here on the floor and I even have all of this to show you guys all right let's start with bananas the good stuff we go through these about a bunch a week I would say because he I try to get him to eat one in the morning every morning uh, these are some red pears I tried these before and they went bad super quick and I took them back to the store and they took them back no problem so I saw them and I'm gonna try them again so cross your fingers they don't go bad this is some cilantro because I'm making some abundiga soup tonight and red or er, and green onions because I'm making some baked chimichangas tonight and you guys can head over to that video if you want to see that. Rosemary for a roast chicken, basil for um, actually the basil, the mushrooms and some of the tomatoes up here are actually for a pasta that I do. There's two tomatoes for that pasta, one tomato for snacking, and one for taco night. Uh, iceberg head of lettuce for taco night because the guys in my house like this on their tacos. I got two of these chopped salads, and I usually put these in a little Tupperware and take them on co-op days because we eat lunch there, and this is what I like to eat. These were just a fun thing that Anthony got him and Ryan because Ryan really likes Fanta and Anthony is definitely a Coke fan. Um, this is the spaghetti sauce that I like, the sweet basil, and I like the Classico. I already had one, so I just got one. Got some celery, some clementines. This is for my abondaga soup and some other soups too. Zucchini for my abondaga soup, cucumbers for snacking lemons for a couple different recipes that roast chicken recipe and the pasta recipe I just told you guys about um, some grapes for snacking and some cheap pasta and a bell pepper this side of the table I got a bag of onions I got a can of chili and a can of enchilada sauce those are for my besties enchiladas it's a really easy quick enchilada meal so if you want to see that video I'll link it here diced tomatoes for that abondaga soup evaporated milk in case I wanted to make some bread because people always ask me to make bread um, some barbecue sauce for a, to go with a dinner I got this 24 pack of bouillon cubes I use these to make any time I need chicken broth, I just put one cube to one cup of water and I make chicken broth or if I need seasoning. And this whole pack of 24 cubes was, I wanna say $1.80. So I was super excited to find that. Um, I got some corn muffin mix and these were 50 cents. Um, just some instant rice because we didn't really have any. So I grabbed that and uh, four cans of uh, just tomato sauce because I make a lot of Mexican food that needs it. Some, this is my favorite salsa, the Green Mountain Gringo Salsa. I use this in my baked chimichangas and it's also just really good. I got some pecan halves because I really wanted to make these glazed pecans that my friend gave me a recipe to. And I was super excited so I'm going to try that out. Hopefully I'll get it done tonight. We'll see. Uh, my mom told me about these. It's a perfect size for one and you make them in mugs or like little cake mixes. I got the brownie kind but they have just all the different types of cake and coffee cake and there was a lot of different variety. I just got these because I thought Ryan would like them the best so I wanted to try them out. They were three dollars so um, a pretty good price because you get four. 
I got a couple cans of orange, little orange soda for Ryan just as a treat. And Anthony got himself popcorn because he loves popcorn. My meat wouldn't all fit together, so I ended up just putting the chicken over here. I got four things of these family um, family pack of chicken breasts. There was about four chicken breasts. They were all around seven, about seven dollars, I would say. And so I got four of them, as you can see. I break them up and I do two and two, especially these big ones. And it's usually enough for my family for meals. I got a thing of ice cream for our small group tonight because I'm going to make a buttermilk pie. If you guys want to see that video, I'll link it here. It's really good, super easy, and I thought this would be really good with it. These are the snacks. Yes, there's lots of snacks. Um, so two Doritos. Anthony picked these out for him and Ryan. I got some chips actually for tonight in our small group. These are just tortilla chips. Um, two sour cream and onion lays because Ryan and I like those and um, I really wanted to try these apple chips so I grabbed those they were $1.99 and then I grabbed these nut mixes uh, for us to snack on also got fins because I really like those and I got these gluten-free chips that I wish I could buy this brand in a big bag but I usually take them with my salad to co-op I also got this pancake mix and I was looking for one that you've just added water to because I just felt like it'd be easier. So this is the only one they had at my grocery store that you added water to, so I'm gonna try it. All right, on to this side of the table. This is most of all my meat though. I got two packs of bacon. I got four, I thought I got five of these. I got four things of ground beef. This is the lean ground beef and it was on sale. I usually don't buy the lean ground beef because it's a little bit more but I like these packs when they come this is the organic brand at my grocery store and I like the way it's packaged also at Walmart they have packages of meat like this and I it's just so much easier to work with um, these were on sale though for $4.50 a pack so a little bit more expensive but actually for me the convenience is worth paying a little bit extra. I went ahead and got a roast for us and that was kind of a splurge but I thought maybe I could cut it in half so we'll see. And I went ahead and got some thin pork chops and I used these on my fried pork chop recipe which you guys um, I'll link here and you guys can go check out. I also got a roast chicken because I have that recipe for a roast chicken that has lemon and rosemary it's super good it's a pioneer woman recipe. We grabbed some meatballs for spaghetti and meatballs because that's a fave in our house and my son loves that. Um, some pizza rolls for Anthony because he's going to be home for a little bit. And um, I got two things of broccoli and a thing of green beans and I also had a bunch of canned vegetables so I just grabbed a few frozen. These are our, oh this is the Diet Coke I was drinking, don't mind that. These are our stuff that needs to go in the refrigerator. So I got a pie crust already done up in the pan I guess you could say or the pie tin and um, these were cheaper than getting the one that you put in your own pie dish so I got a deep dish for my buttermilk pie. I also grabbed chocolate chips in case for we'll probably have small group we're having small group tonight and then we'll have small group in two weeks and I'm gonna just throw these in the freezer in case I need them for that. I got two things of sour cream because one for small group tonight and one for tacos um, for the next couple weeks. Uh, cottage cheese because I really like this brand and I love cottage cheese. I got two things of Mexican blend cheese just in case because I didn't know if I had this fine cheese and my bestie said that it melted better in the enchiladas that she makes. Went ahead and got some coffee creamer. I'm trying the off brand because they only had sugar free in the name brand that I usually get. So we'll see how that goes, but it's just French vanilla, my fave. Um, just some, just got some butter. Um, this was the Food Lion brand and it was on sale, so I got three of them because I hate running out of butter. 
and we have some apples that I don't think I showed you guys. I really wanted to try these ones. They looked good, so we're gonna try those. Over here on the floor, I got a case of water, Diet Coke for me, Coke for my husband. I know I drink a lot of Diet Coke, guys. So you, everybody has their vices, right? I really like this brand of paper towels. You can um, create the size of your paper towel, and I just like the thickness of it. It holds up really well. I don't feel like I'm using a whole bunch, and I usually get these on sale for um, between five and six dollars for that big pack. And um, just toilet paper, and my husband got these cups of noodles for his lunch, and I went ahead and bought some red potatoes for dinners and things. Sorry, we are have this is my back door so it's been snowing and blowing so we have to vacuum today all right this is my breads and some more of my refrigerated stuff that would not fit on my table I got two flour tortillas I really like this brand I have no idea how to say it but I've been buying it for years and you usually find it kind of with more of like the ethnic Mexican spices and things like that and they're good and they're usually a little bit cheaper actually. And so I got some flour tortillas for my, I was gonna make the baked chimichangas and I wanted to make them a little bit smaller so I didn't get the burrito size. I got like the next size down. And I also got some corn tortillas because we use these all the time for different enchiladas and my besties enchilada uses these and I know we'll go through them. I grabbed myself some pita bread just for just because I wanted some and this was the softest one I usually get wheat but this was the softest one just cooking spray a little bit of sugar I needed some flour and active dry yeast because I make bread a lot when um, I make bread a lot and take it places so and now people have asked for it um, I got some hot dog buns and then I forgot to buy hot dogs. Don't you hate that, guys? And then I got two loaves of um, Nature's Own Bread, and I really wanted to try this 100 grain, so, or 100, 100% whole grain. Uh, these were kind of an impulse purchase, but they sounded good. They were blueberry English muffins. And then I got some whole wheat ones. Basically a gallon of milk. These are two half gallons. I always buy organic milk, and the reason I buy it is not only I just Think it's better but it stays fresher longer so uh, my family is not a huge milk drinker family so I'm basically buying this for my son and making sure he drinks milk and so this will probably last us a couple weeks I um, actually got two things of orange juice which equal a gallon as well this was on a really good sale right now I think 268 and so we were gonna try that my um, husband and my son love orange juice so I can't even keep it in my house I got two things of eggs and I just went ahead and got the food lion brand eggs this time because um, they were a lot cheaper than the organic eggs that I usually buy so but because we go through eggs like crazy all right guys so that is my huge grocery haul this will probably last at least three weeks if not a little bit longer and now I just got to put it all away. But thank you all so much for coming over and just watching my grocery haul today. And I will link all those videos I talked about in the description box. And I'll try to put cards up as well. And I'm going to actually go shoot some more videos for y'all. So see you later. Bye.